here I can see there's a little bit of calcium on this aortic valve, so I suspect there will be a little bit of narrowing. And because he's never had a scan before and he hasn't been informed of any previous heart disease, this is a significant new finding. It's very minor, but we need to keep an eye on you every few years and repeat the scan to make sure it's not getting worse. Cardiovascular disease, or CVDs, is the leading cause of death globally, taking an estimated 18 million lives each year, according to the World Health Organization. Here in the east of London, two cardiology doctors have placed a priority on getting ahead of heart issues within what is one of the most diverse and local communities in all of Europe, by identifying and diagnosing any conditions before they become potentially fatal. Dr. Guy Lloyd, whom I'm about to talk to, has spearheaded a cardiology clinic here along with Dr. Nabil Alaskar. Guy, what was the provenance of the idea of putting the clinic in the community? Constructing a program with a really fantastic group in South Africa called the Sun Heart Charity and also with the British Society of Echo, where we went to scan people using handheld devices uh, in the townships in South Africa looking for early stage heart disease in children. And you know, it's the first introduction to how if you use something in the palm of your hand, the size of a mobile phone, you can actually massively impact uh, people's lives by detecting disease early. Within these three million people that live in this area, we have the most amount of diversity. We have some of the richest wards, some of the poorest wards. We know that there are a lot of challenges to healthcare in this population. We have been doing this clinic once a week every week for the last six to seven months and without fail we have found 50% of every list, clinic list that we are scanning have abnormal scans. So they either have heart failure or they have heart valve disease. There are two valves that we look for in particular with this assessment. The mitral valve and the aortic valve which I'm having a look at now and it's the mitral valve that is slightly thickened and that's the one that we are going to keep an eye on. There's a little bit of thickening in the valve. The valve function actually looks pretty good. But again, some, some of these things are not a problem now, but we need to keep you under surveillance and monitoring. If you head out into the community on a, on a random Thursday morning and you scan people, particularly if you're looking at communities where there is already a high burden of diseases, then you're going to find things. Yeah. And at the moment, a lot of this goes unfound, isn't it? We know that 80% of people with heart failure rock up to emergency departments. They don't get diagnosed in the community, they get no. diagnosed you know, the in the emergency time, room, in the emergency department. which is a terrible place to be diagnosed. Yeah. This box is isolating the area that I want to look at. The visual movement of the, of the flow of the blood is what tells me. People with narrowed valves or leaky valves um, over time can develop heart failure. So these things usually need monitoring over time. If it's a valve problem with a narrowed valve, eventually people would need a valve replacement, so it would be a surgical replacement of their valve. You've been scanning all morning. Mm -hmm. um, what have you found? It's a 74-year-old gentleman mm. who has no significant specific symptoms, but um, I thought that there was a possible calcification of his right coronary cusp. Actually, we can say it's not right, and therefore this person needs to go into a clinical care model where we know what's wrong with them and then we can plan the future. And that's kind of what it's all about. I mean, you've demonstrated it quite beautifully there. We're already preventing a significant proportion of emergency admissions, which reduces the pressure on our local hospitals. The future is big for this clinic. We are planning on expanding and training more people to be able to use handheld ultrasound to scan people's hearts to look for specifically heart failure and heart valve disease. If it gets worse over time, then there are treatments available. But at the moment, you do not need any treatment. No tablets, no medications, no, no procedures. Just regular monitoring, regular scanning, okay?